Hi everyone, my name is Dan and these videos are for people new to testing and I will demonstrate how to complete each test and how to complete your schedule of test results. This video is how to complete an insulation resistance test. Now before you start any test make sure you have your on-site guide with you and open to the correct page. For insulation resistance start on page 117. There's more information on page 118 and 119 on insulation resistance testing. And we will be completing columns 23, 24 and 25 on your schedule of test results. Now for insulation resistance test, we don't move any cables within our DB and we don't remove or move any cables within our circuit, it is just ready to go. More importantly, there are pre-test checks we have to do before we do an insulation resistance test. So for a 240 volt system, or 230 volt system, sorry, we will set our machine to 500 volts, Just turn it around there now, and we are going to put 500 volts into our cables. Now some uh, electronic components and some parts may be damaged by having that amount of voltage put through. Information on what you need to look out for and what you need to remove before you do an insulation resistance test are on page 117. But just as a, a one quick easy one is this neon indicator light, which we often find on a cooker switch. If that remains in your circuit, that will give you a false reading. The neon indicators join or linked between live and neutral. So it will give you a zero reading on your insulation resistance test. So that is one of the things we have to look out for, is we have to remove that from our circuit. Other lights and indicator lights may well be damaged or broken if you put 500 volts down. So, I will show you how to complete an insulation resistance test for individual circuits and I will show you how to complete an insulation resistance test for your entire board testing all circuits in one go. Insulation resistance testing is made up of three individual tests. We need to test between the live and the earth, between the live and the neutral, between the earth and the neutral for each individual circuit. Now I'm going to be testing my ground floor lighting circuit and this MCB is labelled up here, ground floor lighting circuit. And my machine is set to mega ohms, 500 volts. Now 500 we write in column 23 because that is the test voltage. So let's start our first test we do put my rock dog clip on the earth bar and then my second probe on the top of the MCB so it's connecting to the live now for the megas you have to push and hold until the dial goes all the way around and give you a reading well, a nice high reading we've got one greater than 999 so that is live and earth that 999 will go in column 25. Now we are going to do neutral and live. And we'll go underneath that cable. So again, push and hold. And I have greater than 999. And that reading will go in column 24. Now I have to do neutral and earth. So I've got a crocodile clip on the neutral, this is on the earth bar. Again I push and hold and I get a reading of greater than 999. Now this test, the earth and the neutral reading, this does not get written down on your schedule of test results. Now that is how to complete an insulation resistance test for an individual circuit. Now I'll show you how to complete insulation resistance tests for the entire board, all of your circuits in one go. Now remember this is a dead test, our main switch is off, that stays off, but we turn on every MCB and RCD. So all we're doing is just connecting all of these circuits to this live on the neutral at the bottom of my main switch. So if I connect my crocodile clip to my earth bar and my live at the bottom 
off the main switch on the live side, left hand side. Now push and hold, we want a nice high reading again. And I have, it's bouncing about a bit. It's just gone over 600, we'll call that 600. 600. And I, now I want to do a crocodile clip on the neutral bar. We did the live and neutral. Crocodile clip on the neutral bar again. The live goes at the bottom of my main switch. Left hand side on the live. Push and hold. And that has gone all the way to 999. Now we need to do live and earth reading. So I put the crocodile clips on the neutral, this pro test probe is on my earth bar, and we push and hold. And it keeps on moving up and up and up. It's gone over 700, we'll call that 700. There we go. And now that has just completed an insulation resistance test for all of the circuits on this DB. So to complete the schedule of test results for our insulation resistance test, first of all we locate the correct uh, circuit number. Now we did insulation resistance testing on our ground floor lighting circuit, which is circuit number 9. So if we turn over the page, go to circuit number 9, and we were going to complete columns 23, 24, 25. They're all labelled here as insulation resistance. So uh, column number 23 says test voltage. Well, we tested at 500 volts. Uh, column 24 says live, live. That is your live and neutral test. Our result was 999. And column 25 is live and earth. And that was also 999. And they are all of the columns we need to complete for insulation resistance. Now, if I show you the on site guide, here we have page 117. It starts out here, halfway down, insulation resistance, and it says pre test checks, what I spoke about. Pilot and indicator lamps and capacitors are disconnected from the circuit, um, and it goes on to tell you other parts that you need to remove or just check for that as I said they may well be damaged if we put 500 volts down them. So turn the page, page 118 and we have a picture here of how to complete an insulation resistance test for our whole board but this, val this table at the bottom this is what tells you your minimum test results you're looking for and what test voltage you need to set at. So the table reads SELV and PELV circuit nominal voltage now we didn't do any of those we uh, we tested here our up to and including 500 volts with the exception of SELV in the UK our normal circuit uh, voltage is 230 so which is that up to and including 500 volts so our test voltage is 500 volts and the minimum insulation resistance that we are allowed to have is 1 Mega. So this is where I get one my test voltage, and this tells me my minimum insulation resistance value. Further on page 119, we've now got a picture here of how to do the insulation resistance of individual circuits. So there's lots of information, lots of pictures there to help you complete your insulation resistance tests. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level two and level three in electrical installation. Now, if you want my tabs that I have on my BS7671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical insulation guys, remember, be safe. Most importantly, listen to your lecturers. He or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.